2009 was the last time the Reds lost two in a row at Suncorp Stadium. They've made a couple of changes with Anthony Fanga and Chris fairway Sortia back into the starting side. Here's Sean Maloney with Quade Cooper. Now it's Quade Cooper. Oh. Turning. Oh. oh, Cooper. Still going. The magic is almost comical. Well, Quade, we haven't seen you step the way you did last Friday night in quite some time. Is it taking you this long to get your knee 100% right? I mean, yeah, it has been a very long process, but I mean, like, I haven't been thinking about my knee for the past, you know, year and a half at least, but I guess that you know, the opportunity just, you know, presented itself to, to, to showcase that, you know, for, for the public and for everybody else, my teammates and, and the opposition to, to show that I'm fully confident in it. And um, it has taken a, a long time and, and a lot of hard work you know, in, in getting back to, you know, being able to run those lines and, and do some of those things on the field. What kind of form do you feel you're in at the moment? I feel that you know, every, every week I'm, I'm working at trying to be better, um, you know, whether it be you know, just trying to be a, a better teammate, a um, you know, better player for, for my team, or, or just individually trying to work on areas of my game uh, to become a more complete player. You know, week in and week out, that's, that's my objective, and uh, I know that there's so much room for improvement, and you know, I'll continue to work at that, and you know, hopefully I can continue to be a, a good Good teammate for, for my team and help put us in a position that we can win more games. Slayers, now it's Cooper. Craig Cooper continues his onslaught. I've got things you know, right off the field and been able to you know, put that back in place on the field. And you know, I'm really enjoying my football and you know, I'm really enjoying life in general. Now to Friday night, you're up against Matty Tamil. You've played against him a thousand times. What are you expecting from this battle? Oh, I always know that it's going to be physical. You know, he's a you know, very, uh, very class player. And every time I come up against him, I know it's going to be a tough night at the office. And, and playing against the Brumbies, you know, they're a class team. And they're at the top of the Australian Conference and right up the top of the ladder uh, for that reason because you know, they're a very uh, class outfit. But I know it's going to be a, a tough game against Matty, but those are the challenges we look forward to. And is this matchup for the Wallabies number 10 jersey? I mean, every week's a battle for the Wallabies number 10 jersey, you know, for any Wallaby jersey. Uh, that is, and um, you know, all the guys want to put their best foot forward, and I, I know that Matty will be you know, no different. You know, he, he loves representing his country you know, just as I do as well, so I've got to make sure that you know, come Friday night I'm ready to go you know, on and off the field, and then I'll put my best performance in for my team, and, and that's all that I can you know, focus on right now. Uh, are the guys aware of how big a game this is on Friday night? Yeah, well, we've, we've made it clear that this game is very important going into a bye week, and um, you know, whenever you have these sort of games, you got to understand that you know, it's, it's not the end of the season, you know, but it is a very crucial game. Um, and there's still a pathway for us to make it into the into the top six and be there for for the final series. But it's just a little bit harder now that path. And you know, the the more we win, the more we control our own destiny. You know, otherwise, you know, we sort of leave our destiny in other people's hands. So can this Aussie derby come quick enough? Uh, we're all looking forward to it. You know, which was um, right there to play now. 